So Nothing has just launched the Ear 2 wireless earbuds, absolutely stuffed to the nads with upgrades and fresh new features. And these bad boys cost 129 quid direct from Nothing, so roughly the same as the original Nothing earbuds and a wee bit more than the recently released Ear Stick. I'm shooting this a couple of weeks ahead of the actual launch, so let's whip them on out of the box and then I'll spend a fortnight testing them, give you my full review, run you through all the new features. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! See, I love the dinky little monochrome box. Let's absolutely shred it and see what's inside. Whoa. Right, so what have we got? Well, we've got the Ear 2 wireless earbuds in a snazzy little transparent case. I'm guessing this is the USB cable. Correct, and it's only a very short one, Type-C to Type-C, but it does look like it has a thick protective coating, so it shouldn't bulk up anytime soon, hopefully. And while the Ear 2 buds do come with medium silicon tips already fitted, you do get some spares chucked in the box as well, small and large. And then last up, there's a nifty credit card sized user guide. QR code there for quickly downloading the Nothing app for iOS or Android. And then as you can see, the user guide itself is very much in the usual Nothing style. So it's two weeks later, I'm a wee bit older, certainly not any wiser. My liver's a bit more f***ed. How have I been getting on with the Nothing Ear 2? Well, let's begin with the case, which once again delightfully doubles up as a fidget spinner. Good for any of you with, uh, with hands that need to keep busy. It's quite an attractive wee box, very distinctive design as you would expect from Nothing. Quite minimal branding as well. Literally just says ear case and tiny little dot matrix text around the front and then around back is the only place you'll actually see the Nothing brand listed. And even then it's so weenie you'll need bloody good eyesight to see it. And while it's not absolutely massive, it is a bit bigger than most true wireless earbud cases and I do prefer a more rounded finish that you do get with a lot of buds these days. Just a bit more comfortable when you slip it into the old jeans. Oh and the case has already started to scratch up a wee bit as well so it might not be looking quite so fresh after a few more months. I'm certainly happy with the magnet situation on the Nothing Air 2 case however. You've got a reasonably strong magnet holding the lid closed and then more strong magnets holding those buds in place inside. So if you do drop the case on a hard floor or something like that, chances are it won't just pop open and scatter your buds into the nearest drain. Of course there is certainly an element of luck involved in this one. Oh, the case itself is IP55 as well, so it can get rather moist and no issues with, you know, the battery getting damaged or anything like that. As for the buds themselves, no real surprises there. They are pretty comfortable to wear, even for hours at a time. They are nice and light, nice and dinky as well. Again, pretty distinctive design. They look very slick with a transparent finish, certainly stand out from your AirPods and all the rest of it. And also that fit is nice and secure. I was never troubled by the fact that they might come flying out of my head, even if I was, you know, for some reason moving at pace. It does occasionally happen. And just to prove it, mosh test. And they're even color coded as well. So the left bud is white, the right bud is red. So basically you'd have to be paying bugger all attention to mix them up. Now the Nothing Ear 2 wireless earbuds pair up with your smartphone using a bit of Bluetooth 5.3, nice and fresh. I've had them paired up with my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and also, of course, my Nothing phone. Now apparently for the Nothing Ear 2, Nothing has upgraded that antenna just to help boost the signal a bit. I certainly had no issues whatsoever when I was connecting or when I was paired up with my smartphone. I didn't experience any judders or crackling or other audio tomfoolery, even when I was crammed arse to ball sack in Charon Cross in one of our traditional London rush hours. However, they do make an absolutely hideous noise when you first shove them into your ear holes, which it, I could just do without that, frankly. This sounds like a robot spaffing his load right in your ear. Now to have full controls of your Nothing Ear 2 wireless earbuds, you will want to download the Nothing X app from the likes of the Google Play Store, the Apple App Store. Again, you've got that consistent Nothing design with the dot matrix test, nice and minimalist. You can see exactly how much battery life is remaining in each of your buds. You've got full access to a whole bunch of features such as the equalizer. More on all of this in a bit when we touch on the actual audio. You can also customize the controls. And as you can see there, it's a good bit of pinch control rather than poking or swiping. I really do like the pinch controls. I find them so much better than the poking and the swiping because the number of times I've accidentally paused my track or skipped to the next track just because I've scratched my cheek or thoughtfully tugged on a lobe. And those touch controls here on the Nothing Ear 2 buds are perfectly implemented. They're just the right level of responsive and you get a bit of audio feedback when you pinch and it actually registers as well so you know the amp balls it up. And yeah, you can fully customize the touch controls on the left bud and the right bud, everything apart from the single pinch which is always play pause slash answer and hang up calls. 
So I've got a double pinch of the right buds skipping forward, double pinch of the left buds skipping back, triple pinch of either for the old voice assistant and then pinch and hold for noise control and also double pinch and hold in order to change the volume. It's great to see that the volume controls are an option. I also really like the distinctive sounds that play when you pinch and hold the buds to swap between noise cancelling and transparency modes. My favourite is swapping to transparency mode where the buds play an exhalation of what seems to me like barely restrained anger. And I can vibe with that because I'm generally having to stick transparency mode on because I'm an annoying bugger, usually a family member, is interrupting my angry metal play session in order to ask a stupid question. Like, ooh, have you fed the cats yet? Or, ooh, where did you put my insulin? And the Nothing Ear 2 wireless earbuds also have in-ear detection as well, so yank one out, your music or podcast or whatever you're listening to will automatically pause, shove the bud back in your head again, and it will restart automatically. It's generally dependable, but it doesn't always work. Occasionally, I'll yank out a bird and my music will just keep on playing. It's particularly annoying if one of your podcasts continues to play for a good five or ten minutes while the buds are outside of your ears and you pull them back in. Oh, bollocks! Also, in the Nothing X app, you have a hearing test. You'll find this if you jump on into the equalizer settings, then tap this wee icon here. The hearing test is powered by Mimi, apparently. That means absolutely nothing to me, but it does seem to work really, really well. And how this works is it basically plays a lot of background noise, kind of sounds like insects chirping in a forest at night or something. And then over the top of that, you'll gradually hear a beeping sound getting louder and louder. When you actually hear it, you just push down this little button here and then it will fade away and once you can no longer hear it then you release the button and basically just keep on doing that over and over for about four or five minutes and then that's the hearing test complete and of course all the beeping comes at different pitches then it can detect exactly what pitches you can hear really well and which ones are a bit duff. No real surprises with mine all those stupid raves I used to go to in the 90s have completely bollocks the higher pitches so I can't hear anything there. And when it comes to spaffing out audio, the Nothing Ear 2 buds are definitely well kitted out. You've got a dual chamber design with custom 11.6mm drivers. And you've also got LHDC 5.0 support, so the Nothing Ear Buds 2 are capable of 24-bit, 192kHz streaming. Great news if you use a music service like Deezer or Tidal, or basically not Spotify. Of course, you'll also need a small phone that is LHDC 5.0 compatible, otherwise it's just your bog standard AAC and SBC codecs. But I certainly really enjoyed the audio experience with the Nothing Ear 2. They're just as good as many earbuds that cost 40, 50, 60 quid more. You get a nice, well-rounded, well-balanced experience, especially when you turn on your personal tuning. In fact, I would highly recommend doing that straight away as soon as you get these things in your ears because I noticed a significant sound improvement with them. With that personalized tuning, I just kept it on the balanced mode, found that was perfectly good, but you can boost the bass or the treble if you want and completely customize it yourself. It's a fairly basic equalizer compared with what you'll get from a lot of earbuds, but honestly, I didn't even bother touching this. I found the presets were more than good enough. And also from within the Nothing X app, you've got full control over the ANC. Nice and simple, just allows you to swap between noise cancelling mode, transparency, and just knocking the whole thing off. And as you can see, when ANC is active, you can either have it on adaptive, in which case it scales up and down depending on how noisy your environment is, or you can simply manually set it. I mostly just had it set to high full time. And you'll notice there, there's also a personalized ANC option as well, which apparently calibrates it to your unique hearing sensitivity. I gotta say, personally, unlike the audio tuning, I found this made bollocks all difference, but others may have more success. And I found that the noise cancellation worked perfectly well here on the Nothing Ear 2 buds, certainly comparable to similarly priced earbuds from the likes of Huawei and OnePlus and Xiaomi. They did a particularly good job of muffling the sounds of traffic and trains. They were only eventually done in by the screechiest sections of the Northern Line. I did find I got a bit of wind feedback when I was outdoors and it was a wee bit blustery, but nothing too treacherous. Now back inside of the Nothing X app, if you tap this wee cog up here, this jumps you on into the earbud settings, quite a lot to play with. You got the likes of the low lag mode. I never actually turned that on because I found that the audio and the visuals were perfectly synced up in games like Genshin Impact. Make sure you turn on that high quality audio setting as well if you've got the LHDC on the go. All kinds of other shenanigans including an ear tip fit test and you can also get a dual connection on the go as so it's Bluetooth 5.3. And the Nothing Ear 2 Buds also have a triple mic setup quite handy for if you're going to be on an actual phone call. I'm recording this right now on the Ear 2 but in my quiet studio so that's not really much of a test is it? Let's try and get lots of noise on in the background see how good the noise cancelling is there. 
Okay, I'm now right next to a speaker that is absolutely blaring out all kinds of really nasty, noisy, high street sounds, cars, horns, people shouting, drills, all that kind of stuff. And as you can hear, the Nothing Air 2 has done a pretty decent job of still picking up on my voice. Unfortunately, while I really like the Nothing Air 2, it does kind of feel like these earbuds fall at the final hurdle because I'm not particularly impressed by the battery life. You get around six-ish hours of playback with that ANC turned off. If you turn it on, however, that absolutely plummets to around four hours. And compared with a lot of modern true wireless earbuds, that's just not good enough. That's definitely below average. In slightly better news, you do at least get around four or five full recharges from the case before the case itself will need to be boosted as well. But if you are going on long journeys and things like that and you want to keep your earbuds in, keep entertained all the while, just be aware that you might be better off with something else. But the case itself can be powered up again via Type-C USB, otherwise it also supports wireless charging, which is nice. It's the kind of feature you'd kind of expect these days at this sort of price point. So anyway, there you have it, my lovelies. That is my full final frank review of the Nothing Ear 2 True Wireless Earbuds. Some very distinctive, very cool, very funky earbuds. I really like the personalized sound that they spaffed into my head. The noise cancellation works really, really well, and the app support is fantastic too. It's just a shame that battery life weren't a bit better, but then to be fair, if you just want some earbuds for the commute or whatever, then job done. So yeah, that's what I reckon of the Nothing Ear 2. It'll be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do plug, subscribe, and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech, and have yourselves a really wonderful rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.